Now we're reviewing Batman Begins. After the critical and commercial failure of Batman and Robin, WB did attempt to make a sequel with Joel Schumacher once again at the helm. However, those plans quickly fell through as Joel Schumacher left the project, and thus a reboot went into production. At one point, the reboot was actually going to be directed by Darren Aronofsky with Joaquin Phoenix as Batman. However, eventually Christopher Nolan was confirmed to direct the reboot, and Christian Bale was cast as Batman. And the result? A much grittier, darker take on Batman that explores his origin story. And that was actually a pretty big deal at the time, because we never really actually seen Batman's origin story on screen before. Like, yeah, we may have seen hints of it, like in Batman 89, where where Joker shot his parents. Spoiler alert, even though that movie's like 30-odd years old. But yeah. So when the movie came out, it was met with critical acclaim. And... Box office wise, it did okay. Like, no, it wasn't like earth shattering, like, you know, as something like maybe The Dark Knight, which I'll get to next, but it still did pretty well and it was still considered a success. What did I think of the movie? I think it's a really, really good movie. A really interesting take on Batman. I like Christian Bale, the Batman. I think he does pretty good. Some people don't like the voice he uses, but it's understandable. Like, for, like, I understood what they were going for when they did the voice. The villains in this movie were really cool, too. Even though Rachel Ghoul was kind of whitewashed. But Liam Neeson does do a good job with his performance, at least. Scarecrow is a bit underused, though. Batman suit, definitely a huge upgrade from... From Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. The nipples are now gone, thank God. <sighs> However, he still kind of has, you know, the thing with his neck. Can't turn his head. Yeah. And a lot of the supporting cast that's good too. Like Michael Caine as Alfred. Gary Oldman as Commissioner Gordon. Morgan Freeman as Lucius Fox. Yeah. If there's anything... If there's any complaint I do have about the movie... It's that the action in some scenes, I don't, I don't like the, the way the action is cut in some parts. Oh, I should probably definitely mention one more positive. Hans Zimmer and James Newton Howard's score. It's really epic, a really epic theme. It's, it may not be quite, quite as iconic as Danny Elfman's Batman theme, but it's still really cool. So yeah, Batman Begins... Really amazing film. It's a film any Batman fan should enjoy. I love the realistic and grounded take they took, though this is probably the most comic booky of the films of the Dark Knight trilogy. And I'm going to give Batman Begins an A-. So if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for today, and I'll catch you guys later.